Hey guys, this is Justin. Hello and welcome to another video. And this is one that I've had to re-record a few times because I find myself getting very frustrated and going off topic. So in this recording, I'm going to try to find my Jedi calm and tackle this topic with serenity and maybe a bit of good direction. So the thing that's been going around today is that Disney is changing Boba Fett's ship and removing the name Slave One. Now, presumably that's because despite the fact that Boba Fett essentially is a slaver, I mean, he sells and kills people for money that slave is too offensive of a term to just use outright i at least assume that's the logic going on here so i was tagged in this story about a million times today on twitter and i assume that's because a lot of you guys see me as the star wars spaceship guy which is a title that i readily accept and really appreciate but i probably wouldn't even have mentioned this story or made a video on this story but for that fact and because as a decently sized star wars creator with a platform i do feel like i can help you guys sort of wade through the misinformation all right so let's get started is Boba Fett's ship being changed, his name, and where did that information come from? Well, the big thing that I saw being sent around was a tweet from IGN, a tweet which drew a lot of attention. It appears Boba Fett's ship has been renamed from Slave 1 to Fire Spray. If you click on the article, there's an even more sort of inflammatory and attention-getting title. It says, Boba Fett's ship officially has a new name. Officially has a new name. Adam Bankhurst, what hidden knowledge do you have that you're going to share with us today. Now, understandably, this is as far as a lot of people get, because let's be honest, who wants to read a full article about the name of some ship? Just going to assume that whatever IGN is saying, they probably have a reason for it. You know, you might read the first sentence, see that there's a press release and go, okay, that makes sense. They changed it. Let's get angry about it. I totally understand that, not only because who has time to spend reading about Boba Fett's ship, but also because these articles are generally just garbage. 75% of them is about something else so you'll scroll down the page and get a bunch of ads in front of your eyeballs so i understand why people see this and they run with it but let's look at the actual source for the information here the divine source that has changed the name of boba fett ship well apparently it comes from a release related to the star wars bounty hunters comic okay that seems pretty official until you look a bit further into things apparently disney has chosen to change the name of boba fett ship through the announcement of variant covers for the comic okay that's pretty weird apparently these are also private press releases that's also really weird so just to explain what's going on here, Star Wars comics will often have variant covers, basically the same comic, but with a collectible cover. And apparently there was a press release for this. Now this wasn't a public press release, at least as far as I could tell. How this works is, if you're a journalist, you'll get press releases for associated media. Like for example, I'm on the Disney Plus journalist list. And again, calling myself a journalist is probably not fair to other journalists, but whenever there's a new show or a new trailer or whatever, I get an official write-up. It seems that's what happened here. I'm not on the comic team, so I didn't get that, but yeah, we'll have to go off what IGN said in this article. Apparently the source of this information is a list of the ships and their names. And we have Bosk and Houndstooth, Boa Fett and Fire Spray, keep that in mind, IG-88 and IG-2000, Zuckus and the Mist Hunter, Valence, shout out to an underappreciated bounty hunter, and the Broken Wing, and then Dengar and the Punishing One. So of course, Boba Fett and Fire Spray is the one that caught a lot of people's attention. But I mean, let's really, really look at that. First of all, you might recognize the name Fire Spray because that's the classification of Boba Fett's ship. It's a Fire Spray 31 class patrol and attack craft. The source of this apparent information isn't even the covers of the comics. It's this private press release, which was perhaps just a mistake. And as I pointed out on Twitter about the same time as Pablo Hidalgo, it's not the only mistake that that press release makes. It also literally messes up Valence the Hunter's name. So yeah. Let's take a look at some of the comic covers I'm pulling up right now. IG-2000, IG-88 ship. Now this is an Orabesh, but 2000 in Orabesh looks just like 2000 in our notation. You can see that it's not on the cover. There's no title about the ship. And the ship's class isn't even mentioned here. All we see is Bounty Hunter, IG-88, and then pointing to a bunch of different things. And I'm not going to translate it, but the ship's name isn't there, nor is Aggressor class, which is the ship's type. So basically, the source of information that's apparently confirming that the ship has officially had its name change in a private press release, of course, that's been quoted by IGN and subsequently literally a thousand other prior-like pop culture sites is, let's be honest, 
probably just a mistake. Somebody messed up. Somebody used fire spray, which is the class of the ship, instead of the ship's name. It's very unlikely that if Slave 1 was to be renamed, that they would use the name fire spray because that's already the ship's class, and that would be very weird. It was probably just a mix-up, one that wasn't meant for public consumption, and you would assume that most journalists could probably figure that out, but where there's a clickbait article to be written, I guess things are different. And you know what? Listen, I do YouTube, I get it. It's hard to stand out. I've done my video titles, which some people call clickbaity. It's fine. But I mean, come on. Like, let's look at the rest of the information. Like, let's have a little bit of objectivity here. Let's go to the Star Wars website. Let's see if they call Boa Fett's ship the fire spray. Let me just look up that. And oh, oh no, it says Slave One. Official Star Wars.com databank has Slave One as the name for Boba Fett's ship. And the thing is, there is a story you can talk about. I think there is evidence that maybe Disney doesn't like the Slave One name. They don't use it in the behind the scenes Mandalorian footage. As far as I can see, I re-watched a lot of the Mandalorian when the show was coming out with the descriptive audio on and they almost always called it Boba Fett ship. That's something you can actually talk about without having to outright make stuff up. Like, I just feel like people are beyond hope. I feel like Star Wars journalism is beyond hope. I just, if it's this quality of material which is going to be shared around, if it's these kind of articles which are going to be shared around, then like we're, we're screwed, we're done for. I mean, read the article yourself. Maybe it's possible, maybe it's possible that Disney is going to change the name of Slave One. If that happens, I won't take this video back. There's a possibility. Disney has done some really goddamn stupid things, but this isn't proof of that. And you can't write an article with 75% of it just being BS about other things. So you read ads and throwing in the real reason at the bottom, especially when the real reason is probably bullshit. And like, let's just look up some other articles. This one from Slash Gear just straight up lies. It says the Orbesh on the titles is basically one-to-one -one code in English and can be translated with relative ease. The cover shows Boba Fett's ship fire spray. Except, of course, it doesn't do that. So that article is just a lie, and there is a little edit that points that out at the bottom, and again, relies on the fact that, oh, this behind-the-scenes press release is the one that officially changed the canonical name, because that's how Star Wars canon usually works. We have the Daily Mail. I'm not even going to read that, because we all know that article is shit. We have an article from CBR.com, which says that the cover now has Boba Fett with his classic ship now titled the Fire Spray. And again, you don't even need to be able to read Orabesh to check this because there's no word there that's nine letters long. It's just not possible. So yeah, this is the state of Star Wars journalism, pop culture journalism as a whole. Maybe I'm not better, you know, I'm ready for that criticism. Fine, I'll take it if it comes. But this also isn't the first time this has happened with the Slave One thing in particular, which is part of the reason why this is kind of a shit show online. There was also a rumor that Boba Fett's ship's name was being changed back when Lego sets were renamed from Slave One to Boba Fett ship. And then a bunch of people rightly pointed out that, hey, the Star Wars data bank and other official sources call it Slave One. And this is actually just how Star Wars is calling all of their Lego creations now. Because a lot of kids don't know Boba Fett ship is called Slave One. They just see it and they tell their parents they want Boba Fett ship, or maybe their parents don't know, or maybe they don't want Slave One on marketing. The thing is, there's nobody that's responsibly reporting on this, and these sites like IGN, which again make these articles just filled, filled with ads, seem to exist almost solely to get people riled up. And again, I'm not blaming you. If you were misled, I really don't think it's your fault. There's only so much time in your day, and reading a detailed article about a press release rather than just assuming it's true is kind of a waste of time anyway when it comes to a fictional spaceship. But guys, that's all for now. I hope you enjoyed this video. I didn't enjoy making it. Let me know, am I overreacting? Am I underreacting? Am I just completely wrong? Again, I'm not actually ignoring the fact that Disney could eventually change the name of Slave One to, you know, something else. And that would be a bad move. That's not something I would defend. My thing is that there's no evidence for that here. And this is just people taking some BS and running with it. But until next time, guys, be safe. Have a good one and may the force be with you.